How's it going, everyone? Indy Sean 45 coming at you. It's preview time, so let's jump right into it. This Saturday, the Fighting Irish kick off the 2013 season at home against the Owls of Temple University. Now, this is the first time these two teams have ever met on the gridiron, and I'm particularly excited about this game because I will be there to see it in person. I've been looking forward to this game for quite some time now, uh, ever since I bought the tickets a few months ago. But hey, even, even if I wasn't going to be there in person, I'd still be excited. I mean, come on, it's Notre Dame football. What Irish fan wouldn't be excited? But um, while I'm there, I will try to get as, uh, as much footage as possible. I will try to capture as many highlights as possible. We'll see how it works out. But anyway, back to the preview. Now, the, the Temple Owls are entering their first season in playing in the brand new American Athletic Conference formerly known as the Big East. And of course, as we all know, the Big East naming rights were given to the, to the basketball conference. But um, before that, the, the Temple Owls, they, for the longest time, had, had been playing in the MAC conference. And they did have some moderate success there under Al Golden when he was their coach. But um, just uh, not trying to sound disrespectful towards Temple here, just stating the facts, this was not a good football team last year. And I don't think it's going to be any different this year. A year ago, this was a 4-7 and seven football team who were pretty much at the bottom of the barrel in every offensive and defensive category you could think of. Um, in particular, I think they were 110th in total offense, uh, 90th in total defense, so they just they were not a good football team. And on top of all that, they only returned one all-conference player uh, this year from a year ago when they had seven total. So this, so this And, and on, on top of that, this is a team that is dealing with a, a first-year head coach. Uh, they're going to be moving to a pro-style offense from in the past when they played mostly a spread type of offense. So th there's going to be a lot of transitions for this team, a lot of holes to fill on both sides of the ball. So really, this is, this is overall, this is a team that's trying to find its identity and trying to rebuild itself pretty much. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that are... Uh, when you when you they when you hear Temple, there's a lot of people that are that would consider a 500 record and some kind of postseason bowl bid as a success for this team. So that that says it all right there. But um, this really this is not a team that has a, a lot of high expectations. And um, you know, not trying to sound arrogant or full of myself here, but come Saturday they're going to have their hands full with us. That's for sure. But um, I'm not saying that they don't have talent though. There are some. I mean, I don't. I don't really follow Temple football. I, I've never really watched them, uh, so I really don't know too much about them. But one thing I do know is I don't see us having much trouble with them on uh, come Saturday. But um, here, anyway, to keep it brief and to the point, and you know, not all my previews will be this short. But uh, really, I I see this as a good game for the Irish as a for lack of a better term, tune-up game, you know, shake out some of the cobwebs. You know, Tommy Reese, his first time as starting quarterback in a year after uh, uh, releasing the reins to uh, Everett Golson last season. But um, how I see things going down is I see, uh, despite the cobwebs we, that we might have in our system, I see Tommy Reese having a big day. Um, I see I see us having a couple of 100-yard rushers, you know, particularly George Atkinson III, and, you know, a buddy of mine, Mr. Mr. Sports Freak 56, uh, he thinks that uh, Greg Bryant, incoming freshman, could have a 100-yard rushing day, which I don't think is out of the question. Um, it just, uh, I mean, I would, like to, I would like to see a lot of action out of him, but um, I think we'll definitely see, uh, you know, some of the, you know, the, guy, the guys with uh, seniority, you know, for lack of a better term. I think they'll get the, pr the bulk of the carries, um, so... I would definitely expect to see a lot of Will Mahone, uh, maybe even some Cam McDaniel, but still, though, I, I'd like to, I'd like to think that uh, Greg Bryant and and Torian Folson as well. I, I'd like to think that with their talent, they've somewhat worked their way up the depth chart, even though they are incoming freshmen. But um, we'll definitely we'll get a chance to see other guys like Jalen Smith, Michael Deeb, poss uh, possibly um, um, you know possibly Devin Butler. If those guys see some action. James Awanalu, wide receiver, and so I think I think it'll be a, a really good game to you know kind of see kind of see where we're heading and you know get a feel for what this year's team is going to bring. So um, I definitely see us winning this game big. Um, my prediction is by, I, I see a 30-point victory here. Um, there's no reason why we can't do it, even with uh, you know some the 
the loss of Everett Golson to suspension and uh, with Tommy with Tommy Reese taking over again at starting quarterback. So I think it'll I think it'll be a a really good performance. Um, as I said before, a chance to shake out the cobwebs, get back in the habit of things, and um, so yeah, that's really all I can say about this game, guys. Um, per, uh, particular score, we'll say we'll say Notre Dame 42, Temple 7, and. You know, not trying to be arrogant here, but I think it's going to be really hard for this Temple team to score some points. But we'll see. I don't, you know, you don't want to get too overconfident, especially with the first game. Because I remember, <laughs> I remember a couple years ago, uh, we we all kind of we all, all of us in Notre Dame fan nation, we all kind of got that same feeling with uh, South Florida and look what happened. But still, though, this Temple team is not that same. Is it, they're not the same as South Florida. Um, but still, though, I think. Uh, I think it's safe to say that this game will be a will be a field day for us, and we'll have a pretty good performance. Um, so yeah, with that, guys, uh, that's really all I have to say. Um, it should be it should be a fun game. I'm going to enjoy myself while I'm up there, and um, you know, as usual, you guys can catch all these videos that I make on my affili affiliation website, NotreDameInTheEndZone.com. So all Irish fans out there watching this video, uh, we invite you to come sign up. It's free to join. Uh, we could use all the support we could get because we still are a moderately small site, and of course our main goal is to try to get get it to be one of the biggest Notre Dame fan sites out there. So come, subscribe, join in on the conversation, and you know just give us some support. So with that, guys, this is MD Sean 45 signing off. Go Irish, beat Temple. <laughs>